Josh Johnson Show. I'm Josh Johnson, joined by my co-host and fellow stand-up comedian, Logan Nilsson. Logan, how you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm uh, tip-top. Great. Yeah. Yeah, it's been... I'm happy for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy. Uh, apparently, my neighbors are happy. They've been doing burnouts all day. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if it shows up in the audio, but it does sound like you're uh, living next door to the fucking Daytona 500 the way... <laughs> Yeah, it just sounded. It literally just sounded like race cars going in I mean, a circle. We all celebrate in different ways, I guess. We all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess for context, because this will be a couple weeks after, but we're recording this the day after you know Biden won the election. So uh, a lot of people uh, still out there. <laughs> Yeah, still out Cel- there celebrating, doing a lot of left turns, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it was it, it like it, when I first heard it, I thought the apartment was moving because the first <laughs> the first ones were so loud. They were they were, were they so right loud. Out front, I uh, they seemed everywhere. Uh, right, it 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 sounded like the car was in my apartment. And I think they started being out front, and then now they've moved to more, like, the side streets. But, Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm sure if I were out there right now, I'd be like, yes, do it. It is very cool. Because it is. It is, like, a fun thing to watch someone do. (laughs) I, I love that character in the street racing movies. Yes, do it. I think that's very cool. Do it. Keep doing it even better. Yes. Well done, chums. Very cool. Matt, because I'm, here's the thing. I like it. Burn out, baby. I think it's very cool. (laughs) What's funny to me, uh, just in general about myself, is that I'm I'm so scared to drive, but I'm not scared to fly at all. Like, I, like. That is interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I get, I mean, you're not flying the plane yourself. Yeah. That that makes sense. Like, I guess if I was flying how, the plane, I would be very you, stressed out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think why maybe because do you get nervous when you're riding like when you're like riding passenger to me? Like, is that nerve wracking to you just being in a car? No, or? no, because I will okay. let. Here's the thing. This is this is the way I feel about cars: is that you're in a chair that could kill someone. Yes. So as long as I'm not doing the killing. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty chilled out. Yeah. I've been in the car with people who I know can't drive. I like right. I like when I got in the car I was like this is a bad idea. This is uh this guy is <laughs> this guy is yeah. about as nearsighted as they come. Um <laughs> Right. So so yeah, I I'd, I'd say it's more just uh you just like the idea of being chauffeured. You you piece of shit. No, I <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I like I also I no, but yeah. I also think that there's just the the level of responsibility and the level of like probability that something bad will happen is just so much more likely in a car than it even is on a plane. Because if you oh. think about it, it's like if you take five flights in an entire year, you know what's the likelihood yeah. that this flight is going down? Whereas if you drive every day, you're oh, at no, least going to have some scares. You're way more likely to die in a car accident than a plane crash. I almost called it a plane accident. <laughs> yeah. It is an you know, accident when one, usually. When when one plane bumps up into the back of another one, you know, a little <laughs> Can I tell you I saw a whole documentary about that and you would not believe how many people lived. <laughs> two two planes coming Hit in midair. coming right at each other. With the radio there was like something wrong with the frequency on one and the other one was like having some other technical issue, so they just didn't see each other until this last second. And we think of planes as like a slow flying thing, but they're f- super fast. Oh, no. They're crazy fast. And so the the crash happens so fast. And I don't remember if they were both trying to land at the same... I, I'm positive they were trying to land at the same airport. That's the only reason I two could, planes would... I could see that. But then they cut across each other and basically the wing of one went into the other plane and then uh, they both crashed and mm-hmm. wit- eyewitnesses on the scene said they saw a guy. This was like, <laughs> this is only funny because so many people survived. They saw a guy that was like still in his seat. 
So like something out of a bad boys movie, still in his seat, the seat had like separated from the plane, had skidded in the field and, and just like skidded across, was still on a little bit of fire and he just undid his seatbelt and walked away. <laughs> Fuck it, my hero. Hell yeah. That dude that dude wanted no parts of it, whatever it was be, coming next. Be even better if he was sleeping, like he's like, Oh, here already. Well, already. Okay. Looks like they burned that meal, whatever that was. <laughs> Airline food, am I right? Yeah. But no, so that I think that you're right. That's a I, I can't imagine if I was well, gonna you are. try to fly a plane. I would, I would be like, oh, how? Well, you, why are there so many buttons? Either you, fly or you would don't. Be, there should just be a fly <laughs> button. There should just be one go. button that says fly. Yeah. This button says New York. This button says L.A. You push one one way, <laughs> push one the other. Uh, yeah, no, you'd be a wreck with that. But no, you're, you are way more likely to, to die in a car accident than in a plane crash. And I think it's like your way, your most accidents more than likely happen within like three three miles of home yeah for for most people yeah when you let your guard Cause I think down usually because that's well yeah, i think you let your guard down that's when you're like oh fuck i gotta go and you burn out of <laughs> your driveway to get the hell out, you know going towards work i think is uh, why it's it's that maybe or it's the end of an election you decide to drag race a stranger yeah <laughs> all day apparently Oh, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm just gonna just drive around Brooklyn and just just get into some. Gonna race for pinks, baby. That's what I'm gonna be doing all day. Woo, Biden! This is how I can tell I'm getting older. Not only am I not out there with them, but I, as I was hearing the second hour of it, I was like, they wasting good gas money. Yeah, man. I I have that thought all the time. Come on, man. I don't know. I I also like it's. It's interesting with all that. Maybe we don't want to talk about this because it's topical news and this will be already a couple weeks after. But uh, the interesting thing with all of the celebrations that happen, which like I'm not trying to rain anyone's parade, but like like we talked about a little bit ago. But it's like uh, I was immediately seeing videos of like all right, we're all getting together and we're hanging out now and seeing in every single video, every every story I saw posted, people weren't wearing their masks. I'm like, guys, you guys were the ones who were angry the whole time. <laughs> Like we can't now be like ah pandemic over now <laughs> like no it's it's not it's very much not yeah it it would it's the equivalent of being so excited you run out into the middle of the street to scream but you are in traffic now <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so I don't know I I I hope uh, people are celebrating uh, responsibly I guess which again this is going to be in the future of them doing it so this does nothing for anyone. Uh, it's just it's just been it's been a wild weekend it's been a weird one it's been a Strange weekend, just because like my my girlfriend had to get tested for COVID. She got exposed at work, uh, you know, which you know she's a nurse, you know, but it was like a patient that she had who then was negative but tested positive later, and she had all of her gear on. That's why she was fine. But they had her get tested, and when you're when you're waiting on that result, and it's not even for me, but it was like if she get if she has it, then like I gotta get tested, and then you know being a substitute teacher here too, then it's like well then I gotta talk to like the the contact tracer person for the Mitchell County health. And, and it's just like, it just it immediately, I was just making a list of stuff in my head being like, I don't hope I hope I don't have to do all this shit. <laughs> like I also, I also yeah. hope my girlfriend's yeah. not sick. Cause that would be devastating. But also I don't want to do this stuff. <laughs> this, is, this is more people I got to call and deal with. Also, I really hope my girlfriend's fine, but I don't want to make these phone calls. But also paperwork. But also paperwork. Shit. So um, <laughs> she's fine. By the way, her test came back negative. She's she's fine. <laughs> but, yeah, but you it, don't want to leave people on a cliffhanger like that. Yeah, you don't. Well, and I just had like a like you know a couple people being like, oh, do you want like a, a a friend being like, hey, do you want to have like you know beers in the yard or whatever and hang out for a second or talked about helping my brother with his house or something a little bit you know because those are those are people who you know are take all the precautions too and I was, he was just like hey do you, do you want to do something tomorrow and i'm just like well i gotta wait and make sure covid's not in my house and he's like yes good idea thank you <laughs> like, oh man it's, it's it's also it's it you know the thing that i think i've just been anxious about is that i with to to what you're saying and to like 
what we were talking about before, I'm I'm probably going to go home for Thanksgiving, which means right. I'll get on my first flight of the whole year. Yeah. And so it's just had me thinking about flights a lot, like like just about the safety and just about like, <laughs> you, man, you, I, okay. you're daydreaming about flights. You're having these ah uh, planes. Because I, I normally love to fly. I really right. do. You know, you, you buckle up for a movie that's not going to be that good, but mm-hmm. you're it's free, so you yeah. don't have to stress about it. Yeah, I fell asleep during uh, Star Wars Solo, I, uh, one of my last flights. That's the last movie I watched in a plane was Solo. At the beginning of it, it was very bad. Then I fell asleep, woke up, and there was some cool shit happening. I'm like, hey, there's a this movie got good while I was sleeping. <laughs> while I was gone, y'all really turned this around. <laughs> You guys really read the room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, quick, quick. He's, we're losing him. <laughs> no, he's sleeping, man. Get Donald oh, Glover in here. Back. Come on. Let's get... Yeah, we got him back. <laughs> Don Glover, nice haircut. I just I missed his his introduction entirely. Woke up and just like, oh, Lando Calrissian's here. Oh, they're flying from something. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. Dude, I okay. So I don't know if you saw this. This is this is actually pretty, pretty old story overall. Mm-hmm. But um, there was there was this couple that was on a flight, and <laughs> so this was back before the Face ID, right? When it was still just the finger, right? Just the finger print on the phone to unlock. It, oh, right, right. Okay, right? I didn't want to have I, those extra. Until you said phone, I was like, "Face ID for what?" <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. This I'm like, I've like, never had to, I've never had to scan anything to get on a flight. Like, <laughs> yeah, like aside get, from my the, ticket, I'm, I'm just saying, like, th- this is how you yeah. know it was like a few years ago, right? Right. And yeah, yeah. So, my man fell asleep, right, mm-hmm. and his his wife, while he's asleep, grabbed his phone took his finger and then unlocked his phone with, <laughs> with his sleeping hand, right? Mm-hmm. And then when she unlocked the phone, she, she, found, she found everything. She found, she oh. found all the homegirls in there, found everything. <laughs> and then she started, <laughs> she started beating his ass so hard they had to land the plane. <laughs> Wait, was this someone you knew or was this a story? No, no, no. This is a new story. This is a new story. This is okay, like, I go, okay, because I remember this now. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah. She, once you said they had to land the plane, I like, I forget. I remember hearing about that story. Because then this is this this was so funny to me about it, right? Is that mm-hmm. so? Yeah, so she already found everything out. So he probably been sleeping pretty peacefully for a minute <laughs> because it took her time to like read through everything. Right. Yeah. You know I mean? Like yeah. like she didn't just open the phone and then just start beating them. She wanted to get all the evidence. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. And so so she's delving in. She's finding whole whole friends she didn't know about, conversations. <laughs> she's reading through. She's getting paragraphs in. Right. right? Yeah. So th- this is the other reason <laughs> The other reason it makes me laugh is because it's like you don't like you as the dude don't know what she knows. Right. But she is so angry that she's not even like playing the, you know, you know, when you're just caught when when someone's just caught you. And so they ask you some leading questions right. so that you can yeah, like yeah. tell on yourself. Yeah. She's not even doing that. It's, she well, it's, is it's just, doing the Columbo. Just like so. Uh, one more thing. There's one more thing that I. Uh, yeah. That I yeah. Ask right. You about, uh, who's just way <laughs> who's to catch Janice? you. Who is uh, yeah. who is this Janice and how do you know her? <laughs> and so, she looks like so a hoe, then, I just want to say. <laughs> uh Columbo got all the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so so then, you know, obviously there's not like a full on transcript of what happened, but from the report that I saw, mm-hmm. she basically woke him up by beating him right so then so then this dude is sleeping peacefully and he just feels no. hands just uh, slap uh, it slap uh, it uh, right uh, hi, honey. so what? just slap 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 and then questions in between the slapping but he doesn't know like not only is he gonna try to lie first but he probably doesn't even know what she's talking about because he doesn't know that she knows 
So now right. she, she's like, she's like, boom, slap. Who is Janice? And then he's like, huh? <laughs> and then she's like, don't hum me, because in her mind, he's already lying. But he genuinely right. is coming out of sleep. So he's he's going, huh, as like, I, I'm waking up back from con- unconsciousness. My my first thought is like, anytime I've fallen asleep on a plane and woken up it's it takes a second to be like where the fuck am i so now add slapping to that yeah and, uh, <laughs> yeah you, now add you, slapping where am i who are you what's happening what year is it who's janice you know that's gonna <laughs> right and from the report from the report that that i saw not only did she have form but uh he was also <laughs> in, in the reports <laughs> really good form she squared up. I mean, it did. It didn't say she had good form. It just said that she was beating him handily. <laughs> so, so the report just says she is, was winning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, easily. Uh, he wasn't even cover it up well. He needs some lessons. Just some, just some general boxing lessons about your guard because she's breaking through the guard with uppercuts. All right. <laughs> While in seated in a plane aisle that's that's incredibly difficult <laughs> oh oh no 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 was she no, above I'm, him I'm, this is the best part so okay. then i'm huh i was gonna is she, was she standing or was she sitting still in the seat next to him or does she get up no 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 okay now has she she hadn't got up yet all right oh, okay so that's the thing so, that's, so so she's she's that's that is some good punches if she's able to <laughs> to really fuck him up seated next to him that's an awkward way to to hit and I'm and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure she had like <laughs> I don't have any evidence for this, but I'm pretty sure she had like fully planned it out how she was gonna start. Like it wasn't an emotional thing. She thought through yeah. like every every sense she was reading, she was thinking through how she was gonna beat this dude's ass. So I'm pretty sure she lowered the seat back table just to box him in a little <laughs> bit more. All right. <laughs> I like that, or I like the idea of her of her calmly putting it up in preparation for ass beating, of just of being like, oh well, hang on, I gotta do this, and let me, let me, oh yeah, undo my seatbelt, yeah. and you're gonna need some help, so I'm gonna go ahead and call the attendant now, and then. <laughs> that's it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like she. I feel like she <laughs> calmly raised her seat back table and calmly lowered his <laughs> and just just was setting up everything nicely right but put, put some probably, coffee on probably, it too <laughs> probably turned his reading light on just so he'd be blinded <laughs> <laughs> so then dude so then not only is she is she beating his ass but he is in a window seat so he's fully boxed oh, in yeah, yeah. he can't get out yeah. yeah and so so then um it's not like no one really knows what's going on when any fight on a plane starts. Okay. So right. there's like a commotion, but he <laughs> he's not even like yelling like stop hitting me or anything yet because he's just so out of it. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he just finally, wants to know if they're there yet. <laughs> yeah. So then finally, they wouldn't that wouldn't that be great if it was like <laughs> You you start getting beat, but you've also landed, so you'll be able to get away soon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they were mid flight. Uh, you're you're ten thousand feet yeah, stuck. Sorry, you're getting you're getting beat across two time zones. Yeah, you're about to join the six feet deep mile high club. <laughs> <laughs> not sure how that math works out, but it's not good for you. It's not good for you. Yeah, it's not gonna be great. <laughs> I think it. I think it ends with you being thrown off the plane. Six feet deep, mile high club. <laughs> and so she is like, yeah, she's like wailing on him, right? Right. And then I don't know if the flight attendant saw first or a passenger saw first, but then they they like got involved, like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You know what I mean? Because like. <laughs> The thing that's funny to me about stuff like this is that no matter how, no matter how like trashy someone is behaving, someone at their job still has to say "ma'am" or "sir." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it always cracks me up. Like it's like like even Waffle House fights. So I'm like, "Sir, sir, sir," and then they start swinging. Listen, like they... then the employee starts <laughs> fighting. <laughs> Which I think I think it makes the punches more righteous if you say "sir" while doing it. It really I don't know. It, yeah. it's, it, it adds an extra level of uh, of of stank to it. Just like oh yeah, sir. Right. You know, it kind of it really 
And so then the combination of respectful and disrespectful in one is a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause like this this is my thing. So then, you know, people are kind of trying to get her off of him and everything. But like mm. I don't know if she's just that strong or people are, are not quite trying to break the fight up good enough. Because there's no <laughs> way there's there's this is the thing. As someone who watches fights, like I like I, I love martial arts. I watch mm-hmm. UFC everything. Yeah, refs rarely have a problem breaking up a fight between two big right. guys. So right. it it shouldn't be that hard to break up a fight between a person who's not fighting back and a person mm. who's trying to fight in a middle seat like that. Like <laughs> right. Well, but that seems pretty straightforward. In, in a plane, though, uh, those people didn't agree ahead of time that if they get broken up, they have to go to their separate corners. You know, this it's it's a different set of rules that have been laid out. Because really, the main rule is, hey, don't fight on the plane, and already that's being ignored. <laughs> so, yeah. So now any any other form of decorum of of a, someone coming in the middle being like, hey, now, you know that that shit's gone. Sorry, there are they're already fighting in the air. Like gods, but I, but I mean, this is my thing. Is it, there's at least there's at least two flight attendants on this on this plane, right? Because it's a big, it's a decently sized plane, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so between two people, right? And what I hope is an air marshal. That's proof that air marshal wasn't on that plane. Oh, for sure. Or he or, or he's cheating or, on his wife. <laughs> <laughs> so then then um they they cannot seem to stop her like she's just she's just in the pocket she's just (laughs) landing nice clean strikes and then i could also i can also tell you as someone who's tried to break up fights before that sometimes they're too messy and you end up getting hurt as the person trying to break up the fight so i can tell if someone if someone's beating another person well enough you don't want to get involved you're like hey look especially like i'm pretty sure that you are now slowly so initially, when you see people hitting people, you're usually on the side of the person being hit because no one likes violence, right. you know? But then as she is yelling out more accusations, it does kind of start to seem slightly more even. Yeah, you know I mean? Like, right. I mean, <laughs> like, like <laughs> most of the time, if I, if I see a woman start punching a man, I'm in the back of my mind, I'm like, he probably deserves this, but I probably need to do something. <laughs> yeah like you try to break it up because you're like in the off chance that this is just an abusive woman let's let's you know let's let's break this i don't like seeing people get hurt out and about but if it's a woman going it says i'm like he probably he he probably did something but (laughs) not not saying it's in the middle not saying it's worth him getting punched i'm not saying violence is going to solve it but i guarantee there's a story (laughs) yeah, if, if she's in the middle of screaming the best years of my life, da 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 da. I gave you two <laughs> yeah, kids, yeah, da 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 da. It's yeah. like oof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you start you start to be a little a little gentler with your declarations to stop. Like, oh no, ma'am, don't. Yeah. <laughs> don't please. Don't do it. <laughs> and so so then they they cannot get her off of him and they, I guess they just tell the pilot. I guess someone stops trying to break up the fight and just runs to the cockpit as like, hey, look, <laughs> we have a situation. Yeah. I can't even pass out the snacks. All right. <laughs> Listen, if we, if we don't land this plane, she's going to bring us all down. She all right? she she is going to use him to beat us. She's, OK, <laughs> she's going to put a fist through one of the windows and then this whole cabin's going to get depressurized. <laughs> And so, so yeah, they landed, and uh, I mean, I'm I do remember almost certain she got arrested upon <laughs> upon landing. <laughs> oh, it's like you, I thought you, you were, were saying she got arrested upon, and I'm like, that is not a phrase. That is not. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure they were waiting for her. Whatever they, because you can't, yeah. you can't, because this is also the thing. She she also must have been beating his ass as they were landing. 
So imagine <laughs> you you already <laughs> think you hate flying, right? right? Imagine you can see out the window the ground getting a little closer, and you you just count down in your head. All right, 15, 14, 13, <laughs> We gotta land soon. We gotta. And then imagine this. So, so she's beating him, right? Mm-hmm. She's beating him, and then. They land. And so he's like, oh, thank goodness I'm saved. But then, because they weren't supposed to be at this airport anyway, they can't get to the gate. They need to wait for a gate. (laughs) Right. Well, and... So now he's basically just getting beat in a car. (laughs) (laughs) Well, and even if they get to the gate, like, I know this wasn't even the airport they're going to, but there's always people who are quick to just rush out and clog up the hallway, too. So now you're just going to get beat while people are walking by watching it. (laughs) Yeah. Oof. And then, okay, so... You guys say thank you to the captain while you're getting punched in the head? <laughs> no. <laughs> thank you, guys. Ow. Thank you. Thank you. You good for nothing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she even does it, too. <laughs> I told you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you do such great work. Yeah. Um. So, look. <laughs> this is... Ooh, this is insane. Um... <laughs> This is the next story I was not here for. I, I the, like I wasn't on this flight, but my buddy, uh, my buddy Al from Chicago said that I could tell it because he was on, okay. like on the flight, and it's. <laughs> I'm sure that it didn't have to get this crazy. It's basically just one big misunderstanding. But a a guy was sitting in what I think he must have been like first class for it to for it to, you know, transpire this way. So, yeah, I think he was in first class. Because everyone was throwing and... money at each other? No, no, no. You'll see. <laughs> no, <This> is... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but basically, uh, this guy on his flight was sitting in the front of the plane, if not first class, mm-hmm. as close to. And this guy falls asleep during the flight. And... <laughs> and... While he's asleep, um, he he's like out, right? So he's, and I don't know what type of, I don't know if he has a condition or whatever, but he's so out that even when the craziness starts, he's still out. Like he's like, I don't know if he took a, a thing to sleep through the flight or right, something, yeah. but he's completely gone out of the picture. Okay. And uh, the flight is about halfway there. So it's a flight from like, I think it was from Chicago to Portland. And so they're they're halfway there. So they've been in the air for like two and a half hours or something. Mm. And at one point, I don't know if they're trying to like gain altitude. I don't know why, but um, the plane sort of tilts, you know, upward. And okay. as the plane is slightly tilting upward, um, <laughs> a foot rolls like through the aisle just bouncing rolling on its side like like a like a foot in a shoe rolls all the way to the back and so so <laughs> everyone seems to see it <laughs> yeah and it's and checking it's quiet at first and it's checking well then they start checking with each other like Did you fucking see a foot go by <laughs> So everyone is calm at first because they're all like, to your point, like, did you see that foot? Everything, right? Then so I mean, I'm just, I'm just not like getting like, like, like air sickness or something, right? Like you, like yeah, you saw a whole you saw a foot, foot right? in a shoe you roll saw by, that, right? right? So then the 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 oh look, God is a genius, all right? Because the comedic <laughs> timing of this could not be pulled off any better. So as the foot's rolling. Uh-huh. It's not until it hits the very back with a thud that people start screaming, right? (laughs) (laughs) So this lady in the back that was probably like next to the foot, and that's why she screamed. Because everyone else, it was just a moment. But for her, this is her life now. Well, and And, you can maybe convince yourself to like, oh, maybe it's just a shoe. But when it's got the thud of a foot in it, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) that makes it more real. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, no, it's got foot in it. (laughs) So then, this is, oh, man. Okay, so then <laughs> it it plops next to her. She sees it, looks down, screams, mm-hmm. right? So as she starts screaming, everyone else on the plane that saw it is like, yes, that must have been a foot. That was definitely a foot then. And so then they start screaming. Well, if you don't and mind so me, then, I will join in the hysteria. 
<laughs> right? So you know how the flight attendants usually, especially on like a fairly sized flight, they usually sit basically like in this back compartment yeah. that, where all the food and mm-hmm. all this stuff is. So then the flight attendant comes comes forward mm-hmm. from the um, from the back and <laughs> is like looking for like like everyone stay calm what's happening right steps on the foot <laughs> and then she looks down and goes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and so then she's like she's like you can tell when someone's like trying to like compartmentalize all their feelings but also be professional so so then she is like is someone it, it is someone okay is someone missing a foot <laughs> yeah and so then like a, people kind of stop screaming now because now it's like it's not like it's calmed down but now at least someone is trying to take care of it right and so like the woman that the foot was next to is still hysterical but then like the the flight attendant's like is anyone like is this a prank like what like what is this this isn't funny like is someone missing their foot <laughs> and then whole time this uh this guy in the first class is still asleep mm-hmm. and i'm guessing and then he, finally, i'm guessing he's missing a foot <laughs> So then, then as she's like making these same like proclamations of like you know like because now now she's like in that space I guess where she's gone from like scared herself to like a little like mad, and so then as she's walking <laughs> to the plane just repeating herself, she's like, uh, "Yeah, this isn't this isn't funny. There can be serious consequences for like doing stuff like this on a plane. Like this isn't a, a joke or anything. Yeah. Is someone you can't, is someone you can't a travel foot? with any fruit or vegetables or foots? You can't. <laughs> we check we check that you can't have it. <laughs> that is that is uh, overhead luggage at best. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any uh, uh, foot or vegetables to declare? Uh, so then as she gets closer to the front she ends up waking that guy up and this guy goes um uh, my foot (laughs) my foot (laughs) which doesn't help no because now because it just sounds like someone's foot fell off yeah (laughs) Yeah, now people think his foot was taken from him or cut <laughs> off or whatever. So now people start screaming again. Oh, Jesus. Then and she still doesn't have the foot. She's just walking around looking to see if somebody's like snickering or something. Like she didn't pick up the foot or anything or the shoe. But like then uh she gets the guy and you know, logical explanation, the dude has a prosthetic foot yep. um up to the like up to the ankle and to for more room when he's flying and taking a nap takes he off. takes it off mm-hmm. but in this particular instance the way that the plane gained altitude it went it went a little bit to the side and then up so it perfectly dumped his foot into the aisle and then rolled it back <laughs> i just i also just don't think my first if i saw a foot land next to me and it's like you would be able to tell it was prosthetic i don't know if that i'd be like, ah! <laughs> like i don't think that would be my first i'd be like oh fuck a foot i mean like, you're you're a reasonable person get, but like all fair. type of manner of people fly <laughs> like i i feel like imagine that's true. imagine if this is your first flight that's true this is your first flight ever that would be and great. just feet are rolling next to you <laughs> does this happen on every one does this happen on every flight are there limbs rolling about? <laughs> oh, That's man. wild. And then he was also arrested once they landed. No. <laughs> <laughs> man. For, for public nuisance. <laughs> no. Uh, just imagine. Imagine you're like, you're, you get, you're like, my foot is like, sir. Oh my God, sir, it's your foot. Are you, are you okay? He's like, Where's my foot? <laughs> and now, now you have to be like, it, it pretty much rolled next to the bathroom. I'll go get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's back there. And, and he's and he's like, oh, it's in coach now. Let them keep it. 
It's been, <laughs> it's been sullied by the grubby fingers. <laughs> Imagine what you would think someone was doing, though, if, if you... Because you know how they have the curtain that doesn't do anything. <laughs> the curtain between <laughs> yeah. first class and coach. Right, yeah. And then under that curtain just spits a foot. <laughs> Yeah, you'd you'd start to think it's some sort of like, oh, like I get it. The rich people get a, get away with murder. We're in international airspace or some shit. So now <laughs> this is where just sending body yeah. parts and carcasses yeah, for the great. rest of us. It's where the Epstein's of the world get to just dismember people at the front of the plane. I get what the curtains for now. Champagne and dismemberments. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I just you know I want I want to experience flights again i i now i want to know, know is it is it are you specifically missing experiencing flights or are you missing experiencing anything because <laughs> i don't yeah, even i don't even pre- i don't even particularly like flying that much hell yeah i could go for a flight right now just because it would be something else you know <laughs> like, I, I can't remember what country but you know they're they're offering flights right now that just are there's no destination you're just in the air for two hours I, yeah i've heard about that yeah um i couldn't uh, th- i don't miss flying that much i like to i like for it to end up somewhere i don't want to yeah. just be i don't want to just sit in an elevator for three hours i'd rather <laughs> you know, end imagine, up somewhere. <laughs> imagine that's the flight you get a migraine on <laughs> The flight to nowhere that's not going to land for another hour. Or what if you're doing that flight and you're like, there's a fucking baby on this one too? Why? (laughs) Like what? (laughs) It's already, it's already, it's already a weird idea to like have to fly the baby anywhere, but to go nowhere, you brought the baby. That's so funny. That's so I'm trying to sleep and your (laughs) baby is keeping me awake on my two hour flight back home from home yeah i i do have some i have some flight like credits still sitting because i was supposed to come to new york at the beginning of the year right before remember it was right it was the week new york shut down in the the initial pandemic stuff but i I was gonna come out and stay with you and our buddy steve malloy i was gonna come out for a bit uh and then I remember, I remember you and steve both called me being like yeah i don't know if now's a good time it seems to be getting a little weird here with this whole coronavirus thing. And then it was like, I, I literally canceled. I was like, yeah, I'll push it back. And I delayed the flight. And then I was just like, oh, by the way, New York's closed. <laughs> don't don't come. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I chose that. <laughs> that timing well, I guess. Yeah, this would actually be a very different podcast if you had come because you probably would have had to stay. <laughs> probably would have been like living here the entire time. Yeah. Well, yeah, we would just be recording in person then. We wouldn't have to deal with uh, <laughs> with FaceTimes and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. But I think I still have those credits th- through next year so, or in, into like when I canceled it. So, uh, you know, if that ever becomes an option again, maybe I'll use it. But yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it, it keeps not looking that way and it's embarrassing yeah. that iowa a very spread out state where it's very easy to not be near people we're like one of the worst places in the nation right now so i don't i don't know i don't like it's the point of having all these cornfields between us if we're all just gonna get together and touch mouths like i don't i don't understand it you know that's what that's what the Midwest gets for being yeah. so friendly. Yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't be so easy to find each other in all these corn mazes that we have. But I don't know, <laughs> man. I I also I think for me too the movies when I was flying were like I would try a movie that I would never watch on on land in a flight. Oh yeah. Well, it's for me it was always like oh if I fall asleep during this that's fine because I don't normally do that. If I'm watching something, you know, at home, it's usually something I want to watch. But in a plane where it's like, well, I'm literally just passing time, so I don't really give a shit what this is. Mm-hmm. You know, I do want to, I am conscious though, just like, has oh, this one got like sex in it? Cause there's like people next to me and like <laughs> it's on the back of the seat. <laughs> you know, it's, you're always. Yeah. I, so my thing is, especially on flights to Australia. Which I've which I've had a few now, mm-hmm. and so those are long flights there, and how long sometimes is that shorter flight? flights back. How is that from like sixteen hours? Jesus, see, I've never I've, I've like never that. done a flight like that, and 
Uh, yeah, I think it's 16 from New York. It's actually only like, I think it's only like 12 from LA. Oh, is it? Okay. I think so, yeah. Because I, I always thought it was like Australia to LA was like one of the longest flights, but I suppose that makes sense. And when I fly to Australia, I get work done with movies. Oh, I'm like, yeah. oof, oof. I watched Cabaret for the first time and the entire Pitch Perfect trilogy. <laughs> it was, I, was, I got off that yeah. plane singing. Yeah, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What a what an interesting marathon to have. I mean, you also you you also only have as many options as they give you no, unless you sure. brought your own iPad. For sure. So like, yeah. I think Qantas just had a deal with <laughs> with somebody with Anna Kendrick. Uh, I'm gonna be right back just because my computer's about to die. So I'm gonna motherfucker. I've told you to plug it in before we start. It's annoying to edit around. He always does. Yeah, I'm not going to cut it out. This time I'm not going to cut it out. I'm going to let you guys know what I deal with. He'll just suddenly, in the middle of a thought, we'll be talking about something, and he'll just go. He's got to do something else. He's got to plug something in. He's got to take a call. He's got to go grab something. He's foolish. He's foolish, and he's inconsiderate. And he's putting his headphones back on right now. Hey, buddy. I wasn't talking about you. (sighs) You're a monster. (laughs) I don't know what you were saying, but I can I can tell you for a fact it wasn't true. I didn't say anything, man. I was just waiting patiently. Just waiting patiently for you to, to plug your computer in. In the middle of us talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Say something. What? It's just, it, it's one of those things where... <laughs> Oh man, I wonder. I I I wondered about a lot of people if I met them at different times, uh, if we would have the relationship that we have, <laughs> and <laughs> oh, you say? Are you thinking if we met now, we wouldn't be friends? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't think that. I actually, I actually wonder. <laughs> I th- I think there are certain people you can meet too early though. Like I can tell you oh, yeah. that when I was in college, some of my best friends to this day, right? Mm-hmm. This is like <laughs> this still cracks me up. So three of my best friends from college, um at, when I met each of them, I did not like them. I did not like them at all. I like I like it was more than I just didn't like them. I like weirdly had a bone to pick with them, and I was, and, and oh yeah, then, yeah, and then we got over it, and like two of us joined the same fraternity, and then the the third one, uh, like we all, you know, I want there to come a day where we can all just chill again because you know we we all live in different places now. Like like two two of them are still in Louisiana, and one I think he's in Mississippi now or something, mm-hmm. and I'm in New York, but. Um, it's crazy, and I and we've had a conversation about it. Like one of one of my really good friends, I remember when uh, initially, <laughs> initially when I saw him, we had a class together. That's like how we met. Yeah, and it was like this orientation class or something. And I said, "Hey, because you know, just trying to be friendly, make friends. Mm-hmm. I don't know anybody. He didn't seem to know anybody. He and like he looked at me." And then he just turned away. And in my head, I was like, <laughs> this, this bastard, I can't believe the nerve of a person to look at you and not acknowledge. Because it was just a deadpan face. Mm-hmm. And then, then uh, when he tells it from his perspective... He like he had been having a terrible day, right? <laughs> yeah. He had been having the worst day, and he was darting around looking for. I think somebody was supposed to bring him something. Uh, like like basically, he. I don't know if he like hadn't prepared uh, to basically come to college that day. Like it was because you know we're all from Louisiana, right? Yeah. So we all had varying degrees of travel, and some people only had to travel for like an hour. Mm-hmm. So. 
I think that he was like looking for someone that was supposed to bring him something and he was just like looking around, darting around, right? right? So then when I said, hey, it was in the middle of him like looking around. So he's like, I didn't even hear you. I'm just like in a panic and I'm sweating. And then I look and as I'm panning with my eyes across the room, you say, hey, and I just turn back around and... And then we didn't even get to strike up that conversation for like a week. And I hated that dude. I was like, <laughs> what a monster. Because he just, because in that moment, he reaffirmed every fear that you have when you're trying to meet new people. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Absolutely. You'd be like, oh, then this he, is why you don't introduce yourself. This is why you don't put yourself out there. <laughs> then he apologized profusely. He was like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I was looking around for people to make friends with, too. And then we ended up becoming friends a week later. Right. And I was like, this dude's the best. Then the, uh, <laughs> the, the other dude, we, we weirdly, we had some sort of weird misunderstanding when we met where we got in like an argument, but then we worked it out and then ended up going to the cafeteria together and mm-hmm. having lunch together. And then that our friendship sort of started there. But then, uh, the third, the third dude is Donovan who I've mentioned multiple right. times in like multiple scenarios. I, I want right? to meet him. I've and heard a Donovan, lot of stories about Donovan, but I've, I, he's one of your friends I haven't met yet. Do you'll love Donovan. Is a dog like too? Donovan. I was, I was trying to, yeah. Oh, now there's a dog. Yeah. I guess the dog just heard <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> Biden won. <laughs> It's losing it. <laughs> I swear between burnouts and dogs, we're going to get this podcast recorded. Yeah, no, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of fun Foley from your end of the, <laughs> the recording. It's what it's like to be in Brooklyn. Yeah, but I, man, I just probably a dog chasing the cars. Um, <laughs> the so dog's then, winning the street race. Yeah. <laughs> so, so then, when it came to Tyler, who was like the the uh, like one of my first friends that that I made, he was the one that you know we had lunch together and everything. And then I would go over to Tyler's room, and he was roommates with Donovan, right? Mm-hmm. And so Donovan and I did not vibe at first. Like it, like it, it was it was really interesting how it played out because in my head, Donovan was just like this like i just projected so much onto him because donovan is like so many things that i am not so i was like this is a big dude trying to thinks he's so cool and stuff (laughs) like all this stuff like this right stuff that didn't even make sense and then he thought that i was crazy (laughs) he thought i was like legit out of my mind uh and and like and then because he also hung out with tyler because tyler was his roommate i would like just be talking or like telling stories the way that we talk. And I will like tell you a story Mm -hmm. and he'll be like, this guy's something's wrong with him. (laughs) Something, something's not right. (laughs) I don't like it. And, 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 and this, this is, this is the thing that turned him off of me. I I think I could be wrong. I'll have to ask him about this or maybe he'll text me how wrong I am. If he listens to this episode. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Does he listen? How good of a friend is he? Yeah. He listens. Support the show. (laughs) Yeah. I'm just creating uh, drama for no reason. <laughs> basically, there was a day where I was hanging out with Tyler and Donovan and everything. And earlier that day, I had seen, which is, which is, I've never seen it since. It's crazy. I had seen two squirrels like running after each other and they looked like they were about to like mate. Like it looked like some sort of like mating thing because they weren't fighting over anything, but they were like right. running around each other and then rubbing up together and then running up the tree and everything. Yeah. And then just when it seemed like those squirrels were about to get busy, an eagle swooped in and snatched <laughs> one of them. <laughs> the ultimate cock block. Yeah. And so, and the and the squirrel was fighting, and it like it drew like a small crowd. Like there were ten of us who like imagine, were like, oh my god! Imagine as a human, <laughs> you're about you're about to fuck someone. You you and another human, you guys are in the bedroom and you're ready to get busy, and then suddenly she gets killed by a tiger <laughs> that doesn't care about you. Doesn't care about you at all. <laughs> the tiger just came and went for her. So it's gonna take so a few then, seconds. You're just gonna go, whoa. <laughs> Because I'm because I'm younger and I'm not as self aware and uh, mm. probably a list of other things, I didn't tell that story the way I just told it to you. Right. I told it 
from the shell shocked perspective of someone who just saw it happen. Okay. So then when I came to the lunch table, I sat down and I was like, I was like, they, Tyler or somebody was like, hey man, how's your day going? What you been up to? And like, how are classes? And instead of addressing any of those questions, I just went, yeah, I saw two squirrels trying to bang and then an eagle came out of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure one of them's dead. <laughs> And the lunch table was silent. Yeah, and I'm not self-aware enough to know that I've just like r- like <laughs> kind of ruined everyone's day. And so I'm just sitting there with like the reality of like what I witnessed. And Donovan is like, this this guy, there's something wrong. I don't like it. <laughs> this yeah. is bad. No. I'm trying to the, tell y'all now. If that was the only view I had of you, yeah. Like that's that's how you write a character in a TV show that you want to have be off putting. Is you have <laughs> <laughs> you have to yeah, walk up to yeah. a table and just <laughs> rattle off some random not fun things. <laughs> I definitely learned how to clear a room before I learned how to work a room. So And this is and this is my <laughs> that's good. This is my friend Josh. Did you know goat testicles are called Rocky Mountain oysters? Okay. Well, <laughs> Because I also wasn't looking at anyone when I said it. So it just made it that much more like terrifying, creepy, whatever. So then Dom was like very put off of me. And then... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got then, that. Josh, you walk around with a school shooter vibe. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what you got going. <laughs> and then I made it worse because he like... I don't know. I think he felt like because he thought I was crazy, he needed to be a little bit more like... Not, I'm trying to think of how to put it. He just, I think he felt like he needed to show he wasn't scared of me, mm-hmm. which is already not necessary because he's like six four. Yeah, like he, like right. he's a big dude. Like, like it, I'm not. I think he thought I, was, I would bite him or something because I'm not a big man. <laughs> so, like, I don't know why you would be no, scared but, of me. Well, you know? someone who walks in with that energy though is probably into swords. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah. <laughs> You gotta you gotta watch that kid. Yeah. So then um so then basically there was one more instance where I did a crazy thing and then he matched me horribly. So so I was alone with Donovan in Tyler's room because we were both waiting for Tyler to get back so we could go to a, a concert. Was it like a dorm and or? uh yeah, it's a dorm, okay. right? So he's you were, there, was with an ap- Tyler. there was an apartment, but you guys decided to sit in his bedroom <laughs> no no so no just no wanted, it's just it's a yeah. dorm just, i'm just helping paint the scene buddy you're good Don't yeah worry. yeah and and so basically i'm i had shown up to to tyler's dorm room and then dobbin answered and he was like oh yeah um uh tyler's not here yet uh but i guess if you want to wait for him you know are you going to the concert too and i was like yeah He's like, I guess if you want to wait for him, you can wait here. And so I sat down and waited, and then uh, he was sitting on the bed. And then he, I don't know if he said something or he did something where I was like, I'm not going to let this dude intimidate me, all right? I'm going to do something crazy to show him I'm not scared of him. Okay, so this one you're doing on purpose. This one I did on purpose. The previous crazy was just you. This one, though, is an an intent to be crazy. Okay. Yeah, so then... Kanye's 808 Heartbreak had just come out, right? And I worked at the college radio station, so I got an early copy of it. Okay. So as I was uh, listening to it, I, I played it loud and I sang this one lyric uh, because I was like, all right, this will really get him, right? And it's the thing from Say You Will where uh, Kanye's like, when I grab your neck, I touch your soul, right? And so then I like just sort of low, low sang that. And Dava just stared at me, and I stared at him, and I was like, I like, I almost, I felt like I should have said something, like I should have said, like, "What's up?" Yeah, but like, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Then he, he was like, "You know what? I'm not gonna let this little dude intimidate me. All right, I'm tired of his crazy ass, and I'm gonna show up. I'm not scared of him." So then we both get a text from Tyler, like, "Hey, I'm not coming back to the room. Just meet me there." So then we head out together. As we go to head out together. He's locking the the door room, like he's locking his door, yeah. and I'm like, "Ow!" 
And and he turns around. He's like, "What happened?" I was like, "Oh, I, I think a mosquito bit me or something." Because like I'm really itchy all of a sudden and everything. And he just looks around, like looks around, eyes wide, darting, and then sees the mosquito and goes, "You hurt my friend!" And then he punched the wall as hard as he could. <laughs> and then when he moved his hand, yeah. there was a dead mosquito. <laughs> on the wall and i was like oh yeah i don't want these problems i (laughs) that's terrifying and now months later when we're actually all friends like me eric tyler donovan we had this conversation where i explained why i did what i did and he explained why he did what he did and it all it all made sense no no it didn't I can yeah, tell you right it now, did. it did not make sense. It did. It wrapped it up with a bow. It the story is perfect. Absolutely does not. It does yeah, not wrap it up. I have. It landed perfectly, like a plane. <laughs> well, they do most of the time. Uh, so wait, then after he punched the mosquito, then you were because you, all you said was, "Oh, I don't want these problems." Were you guys like friends after that, or did you just decide like, "Oh, I'm I'm not going to try to intimidate him." with Kanye lyrics anymore. <laughs> I'll, I'm, Look, I'm going to give it some distance. Like, y'all, I, we, you we still just, you just crazied each other into friendship. This is two people yeah. enacting Stockholm Syndrome on each other. <laughs> like, you guys, yeah. you guys yeah. held each other hostage with your, your separate crazy. Yeah. And then, oh, I guess we're friends now. <laughs> Yeah, because because we I don't I feel like we still weren't friends for maybe one more week after that happened because I was like when he punched the wall I thought I was like oh wow that was that was extra oh geez because it like it, it shook the wall like he like he's a big man and and then when he moved his hand and the mosquito was there I was like because he didn't even say like got it or any like he didn't even seem excited he was just like he punched the mosquito and then was like let's go. <laughs> And so, so then I was like, yeah, this dude is crazy. I don't want to have anything. This, this is, ooh, this is terrifying. And, and then maybe after a week or so, when we were all hanging out and mm-hmm. we're realizing we were becoming friends, like we were realizing that we meet up after classes and we spend most of our evenings hanging out, that we were like, you know what's crazy is that when we met, I actually didn't like you for this reason. You know what's Whatever. crazy? Everything we fucking did. <laughs> that's yeah wasn't that crazy that thing you did with the kanye lyrics that was weird super weird really weird thing to do to another human yeah but i had explained why i did it which was like look mm. i couldn't just have you being taller than me and like <laughs> running around here i know it'll sort out this this height difference some kanye west that'll really that'll really <laughs> Sort out the height differential. <laughs> Problem solved. Because <laughs> I'm gonna say when I grab your neck, I grab your soul, or whatever. That'll really that'll knock him down about six inches. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah, because crazy has no height. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. Uh, well, I'm 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 glad you guys made it. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm speechless. Yeah. I <laughs> that is. I'm glad that we made it. I'm glad the neighborhood is happy. I'm glad that you know. I'm glad they're still doing burnouts. They still have gas money. Yeah, I heard that going again. Biden Harris 2020. Uh, <laughs> we out here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You know I we've been getting a lot of emails and like reviews lately about people just saying they appreciate my genuine concern for your stories. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited when we start putting up the video elements that people can see me in real time uh, <laughs> struggle <laughs> with some of these stories. Because <laughs> all I could do for a minute there was just cover my face. Uh <laughs> Well, that's interesting. 
Uh, did you ever? <laughs> if I feel like you and I just became friends very quickly. We were kind of fast friends. Did you ever have any moment where yeah. you thought you'd have to intimidate me? <laughs> Is there ever a moment you're nah. like, I maybe got to bring this guy down a peg with some <laughs> with some dark lyrics? <laughs> no, nah, you only got like two, three inches on me. So I think we were <laughs> we were Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough <laughs> i feel like that's a primal thing it's like i'm i have to show this person i'm not scared of them and I i'm just gonna be crazy uh, no <laughs> <laughs> i mean you're, <laughs> you're right to an extent but just not the way you're saying it is it's, it's because I do get it when you when you meet people like that and you do want to let them know like you're not gonna take their shit or whatever but like I don't it's really it's just your tactic that's really throwing me off is they just like yeah you know yeah. I'm gonna put on this song I mean, and I'm gonna in, say this one I'm gonna say this one lyric <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna mutter <laughs> a threatening song lyric <laughs> to get his attention <laughs> as I'm sitting in his dorm. I'm gonna go to his dorm room where he lives and is feels safe, and I'm gonna mutter a threatening. So lyric to this guy just to let him know I'm not scared of him. <laughs> so I should also point out that he actually he actually hadn't <laughs> he actually hadn't done anything expressly intimidating until the mosquito thing, which is kind of after two of my things. So you know, yeah. in retrospect, he didn't do anything wrong. No, you came out uh, swinging with crazy bud. <laughs> The first crazy was completely unintentional. The, the, like, like I no, wasn't. That I, first one. I, yeah, that was. I just, saw the thing, and then I was shook it up by it. Yeah, that was. You just had squirrel sex PTSD. So that's what happened there. Uh, the it second was one, like watching the documentary without David Attenborough. It's like like nothing was cute <laughs> about it. Nothing was cool about it. It just it was, was just sex and murder. It, <laughs> It was just just nature at its most primal. <laughs> someone's gonna get fucked and someone's gonna get got. That's how it goes in these nature docs, baby. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Yeah, okay. I don't know how much more time we want to spend on this, but walk me through just again. Why what caused you to do the Kanye thing? What made you I okay. I don't I don't remember if he had said or done anything extra. I think I just felt his vibe off of that cafeteria moment and then and how, then how I was long, like how separate were these these instances? How how like days. Like days. days. Okay. So yeah. you walked into his dorm being like <laughs> he's, he's still weird about the squirrel thing. I better threaten him. <laughs> oh, maybe I came off too strong before. You, know, I know it'll fix it. This is this is all I'm saying. All right, I'm I'm just. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Look, this is. I'm sorry. I, I, you 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 broke me with this one, bud. I don't know. I'm. It is. I was <laughs> much like those guys racing around your block. This is just running circles in my brain, and it is continually fascinating me. So, look, I was was coming from a place where I wasn't going to his dorm room in my mind. I was going to meet Tyler mm -hmm. to go do something with Tyler mm -hmm. that I didn't even know Diamond was also going to do. Right. So then I. 
in my mind, I'm not just sitting in his room to intimidate him. I'm sitting in his room and I'm like, all right, right if we're going to keep both being around Tyler, then like we must fight for I his love. Ha- I <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't I can't have you sort of like mm-hmm. treat me like I'm crazy. So let me be right. so crazy. You won't say anything. Right. And that and that's what I and that's what I did. And then when he punched that mosquito, the fact that he actually killed that mosquito was like I still think about that. Yeah, because that's accuracy on top of like just right. good hand eye coordination and strength and like he hit it hard. And like he said, like he hit it too hard. He also said to the mosquito, "You hurt my friend." So yeah, now I'm imagining a situation where Donovan had decided you were his friend, and he was going to protect you. And then yeah. you showed up, and we're like, well, <laughs> grab your neck. <laughs> grab your I didn't think about that till afterwards, though. Like, like it, it isn't until it isn't until retrospect sets in that you realize how long you've actually been friends with your friends, right? Like, yeah. I like like with you and I, I feel like we became fast friends. Like, I yeah. feel like within yeah. two weeks, I was like going over to your place and like. Yeah. Maddie knew me and we would like yeah. go to Mike's together. You yeah. know what I mean? Maddie's my dog. Um but then would yeah, Matt Maddie's his 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 dog. I <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like saying that cuz you just said Maddie knew me. I like, no, I know, but cuz I almost I almost went like I was petting Maddie and then I just said <laughs> Maddie knew me, so it was funny that you were then like, "Guys, Maddie's a dog just because Josh right. doesn't know how to talk to people." Um <laughs> But but yeah, like so I think that with Donovan, Eric, uh, you know, Tyler, we all became faster friends than it felt like in that year. But looking back to like the freshman year of college now, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, we were friends in no time. But those right. moments, you know, like just when you're in it, those moments feel like mm-hmm. an eternity. It's like you're you're at this new place and Especially you don't know anybody. If, yeah, the know? moments feel longer too when you take the time to just openly threaten each other. That really that makes that really elongates <laughs> that elongates a moment when you turn <laughs> when you turn just a simple hangout into fucking high noon. It really <laughs> it makes things feel longer. I will say that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, wow. like I said, Donovan didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bud. My reactions have not been about what Donovan did. <laughs> that is not what I've been hung up on. I I am casting no stones at Donovan. I have been I have been completely hung up on the insane man <laughs> muttering threatening lyrics at somebody just because he's getting a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> that he thinks he needs to pick a moment to be quietly crazy and threatening. That's what I'm hung up on. It's not Donovan. I honestly feel like Donovan gave you too many chances. <laughs> uh, oh, well, we're over an hour to you. <laughs> You're fucking uh, weird. I love you to death. You're so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're great. Okay. <laughs> if there wasn't a copyright on it, I'd sing the lyric right now. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want those problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Kanye's not president now, so he's got time to track people down. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to The Josh Johnson Show. I am so happy to be doing this podcast with one of my best friends um, that I became fast friends with and not, uh, you know, in a weird battle over time and and lyrics uh, for us to figure each other out. 
If you're looking for more of us, you can find me on social, on Instagram at Josh Johnson Comedy, on Twitter at Josh Johnson, at Facebook at Josh J Comedy, and YouTube at Josh Johnson Comedy, where very soon we are going to start posting videos of this very podcast. If you want to see what our faces look like while we're reacting to each other's stories, then that'll be where you can do it. And if you're looking for Logan... You can find me on Instagram at Logan M. Nielsen. Uh, and if you want to get a hold of us at the show, you want to send us an email, you can do that at joshjohnsonshow at gmail.com. You can send us a question or just a, a review, drop us a line. We're covering those right now in what we're calling our Monday mailbag. We're testing that out. We'll see, but we're going to handle those there for a little bit. And because we like, we're, we're it's, it's been fun giving them a little more time, a little more space to breathe and not worrying about, right? Don't you think so? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow. Thanks for that enthusiastic <laughs> endorsement. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is this is how I say everything. This is why no one <laughs> believes that I have feelings. <laughs> but uh, but you can get a hold of us there. Um, and you know, if you could too, if you could leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, a five star review, if you feel so kind, and leave us a review there. We like to cover those. Um, and if you could follow us on Spotify, subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, or if you could just get some friends to listen to it, you know, go to your friend's dorm room, put on this podcast, just like say some weird, vague, threatening shit. Do whatever you can. Just spread, you know, help share the show, you know, with your friends. Was that a dig at me? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, just checking. <laughs> yeah. No, we're good. It's a it's mosquito there. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.